Today we're going to be painting up Dungeon Debris from the Mantic Terrain Crate. Want to see how I do it? Stay tuned to the video and we'll see. So what you want to do is pick out a bunch of different browns here so we can use them in different places over these miniatures. So I've just picked out three here and I'm just going to be painting them uh, all over in different spots keeping it sort of random and I'm just leaving out the stuff to the side which is going to be our stone working but just along here you can see that there's a whole bunch of different crates and I think varying them up will give a nice uh, difference in style texture and look compared to just having it all one color. So now we have that already I'm going to start off here just by painting this first crate so just a single one on its own and I want to uh, just lay it on reasonably light. I want to try to keep some of that uh, the dark uh, primer in there so you can see a little bit of the cracks but you don't have to worry about it too much and don't forget you want to try and uh, cover the whole thing pretty well with not too much uh, pooling uh, in certain places since the cracks are so fine and then you've, I've just gone over all the other ones here just varying it up uh, keeping it sort of as random as I can and um, you know just giving a bit of variety to every and now I'm just going over with a different color a uh, much darker um, brown than I won before and I want to uh, keep it all over all the things just keeping it really messy at the moment um, but just starting to keep in mind with the other pieces so now I've done all that, I've varied it all up, I'm now going to start moving on to the stone, I'm going to use our uniform grey here, and I'm just going over the whole thing, um, just a big nice uh, coverage over the whole lot, uh, being super messy with it, because we're not going to worry about that at this stage. So don't forget about your other piece as well. I've been a little bit careful here since this bit actually has some wood on it. So now we've got all those variations of the brown and we've painted up this. I'm going to be going over with a, a lighter grey and just picking out some of the detail on these things uh, just to give it a little bit more life than it has. So I'm going to use our ash grey here and just slowly looking for uh, different pieces that I want to stand out just a little bit more from all the uh, base grey that we've got on these things. So starting out with this nice big pillar here thought it would look good if this is just a little bit lighter since it's on the top of the rubble um, maybe catches a bit more light you know stuff like that and as you can see I'm also just going to be picking out some random uh, stone bricks just just varying it up keeping it sort of um, just all over the place just trying to you know make, make it look a bit more realistic than if I was to paint the whole thing just one straight grey and dry brush it up but now don't forget about your other piece which I was pretty close to doing um, so I'm also just trying to pick out random spaces on here as well um, you can also of course do this if you want to on your uh, crates uh, sometimes maybe just varying it up with a lighter color can be a great help as well so don't forget to keep that in mind while you're doing this so now what you want to do is grab your dry brush with your nice or any brush with some real stiff bristles and we're going to go over it with skeleton bone and for this we're going to go over absolutely everything just everything we see here the, from the wood to our stone piles um, to all all the crates just everything I'm going to go over with the uh, skeleton bone um, and then just to vary it out I'm also going to be using the mummy robes on the stone there just just to give it that little bit of lightness on top of what we're doing here with our skeleton bone so it's a good variation uh, to keep up there and so it doesn't look all exactly the same okay so now don't forget when you're dry brushing to try keep as much of the paint off your brush as you can just leaving the little bits there to just catch the edges as so catches on all the raised pieces and really brings out those uh, highlights you see it's coming up quite well here and I'm just making super fast passes over the whole lot 
and don't forget about all your other pieces so like I said we want to go over all the crates as well and the barrels and you can see now that I've got all those done it's, it's looking really nice um, and you can see that I've um, just gone really heavy with the dry brushing but you can see I've left a bit there where I've dry brushed sort of too much I've left a bit too much on the paint but that's okay because we're going to be able to fix this uh, stuff up with doing a wash over top which will uh, bring back all that dry brushing down but you can see here it looks really nice just on those big door panels where it's uh, really caught it nicely but so don't worry too much if you've messed it up a little bit like me uh, if, it, if it's too too bad you can always go back over with uh, your base color that you used and then dry brush over it again but myself I'm just gonna go up moving on to a wash and we're gonna cover the whole thing and the this wash here with our Sarah from Sepia and our so now it's time for the washes and we're using our Sarah from Sepia and Nolan oil of course like I've just shown you just before so I'm just gonna cover the whole lot just really sort of messy like um, I'm just going over at the moment the Sarah from Sepia over this pile of wood give it that sort of uh, earthy look once it's all dry and it's all settled into those cracks it'll be looking really nice And don't forget about our other things that we've got here. So our barrels and our pile of rubble. Okay, now you can see what it looks like once all the wash is all dried up and it's really brought out those details nicely. Uh, you can see now it's toned down some of those spots where I've really gone over heavy with the dry brush. And it's settled into those cracks real nicely. But we're going to go over some of these detail bits here. So using our gun metal. We're going to be going over all those details, uh, bits that I've just shown you before. So just being real careful now with our brush and just trying to keep as much of it on to those specific spots as, as possible. Uh, you may get a little bit on it, don't, it doesn't bother me too much with some little spots, but if it does, just go back over with the wash can dull it down or just with a little bit of paint. And so don't forget about our other things as well. So I'm going to go over this banding here, all these pile of barrels. Just being as delicate as I can, trying to keep it uh, just on the bandings to really bring out those nice um, details. And it looks quite effective from a distance on the table when you can really see just small details like that that can really improve it quite a lot more than you think actually um, as if we just left them by themselves the barrels would look good but just taking that little step further would look really really cool okay so now I'm going to vary it up with another uh, paint here on just some of these other parts and for that I'm going to be using a rough iron which is just a, a, a really dark sort of metal color maybe a little bit hard to see here it looks maybe sort of like the brown but I'm just going to go over the little parts of the door handle to make it sort of look like a rusty uh, door had been there. And with that last part we are done. You can see here that it really brought it out quite nicely. As well as all these other parts, just those details are really good. And we've just gone over here with our skeleton bone. Uh, just on this little bits of like parchment, I think, are on here. I'm not quite sure what they are, but I've just gone with a bit of parchment, maybe some shipping notes like that. You might want to put a little bit more detail in here, but I'm just going to keep it sort of a little bit vague, so it could be something different. And we've got our pile of barrels with all our different colours and with those washes and our, our banding lines on there. They look really, really good. And our pile of rubble, of course, which with the wash on has really brought it out really nice. You can see all those individual bricks. So with that, and so now we're going to be moving on to just some shots that I've got in a nice uh, area here where we can see them all in a bit higher detail. So here we go. And you can see they look really nice from a, uh, quite a distance. So one of those things you've got to remember is varying the colors up with all those different browns can add just a nice effect from a distance where having it all plain can make it look sort of boring and it all becomes one sort of mess. But, but with all this done now, guys, you can see that it's looking great and it'll just be fun for your gaming table. So now this is the part where we end. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good day.